So for TikTok shop and TikTok affiliates, one of the softwares that I've been recommending for a while that's blown a lot of people's minds and really done well is Creatify AI, right? Essentially all it does is it takes product listings from Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, you name it, and automatically turns them into videos for your products that you can then upload to TikTok shop or TikTok affiliates, link your products and test products so much faster because the AI is doing all the heavy lifting for you and turning that listing into a video. So you don't have to spend an exorbitant amount of time creating videos yourself and all that effort to edit them, upload them, etc. You also don't need to pay an expensive freelancer or outsource it to an expensive, you know, professional company to make the video for you. Again, the AI does all the heavy lifting for you. But a lot of people don't know that Creative by AI actually makes incredible creator rewards programs videos too. And it can be really advantageous if you're doing that and monetizing a page that way as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you from A to Z exactly how I would use it. It does a great job because essentially what it does is it kind of mixes a bunch of clips up really quickly if you download them ahead of time, and then you can upload them manually into Creatify AI and let the software just kind of jumble them for you. So if you uploaded a bunch of different random clips of sports cars, for example, and then input it into Creatify AI, it would automatically take bits and pieces of that video and jumble it around so you didn't have to edit it and spend a lot of time doing it. It kind of makes it random, so to speak, so that you can then upload that as a new video with a high quality voiceover and monetize that video via ad revenue on TikTok if you're already accepted to the Creator Rewards program. So the first thing that you'd wanna do, right, is you'd want to go somewhere with royalty-free images or royalty-free videos. So like Pexels, Pixabay, you can even use Pixaverse, which is the AI software that I recommended to generate these videos in a past video. I will link that video at the bottom of the description if you want to check it out after this, that's going to help you create really cool AI looking videos, which you can again use for this as well. So I would go to Pexels as an example, and let's say we we're gonna create something about like, you know, success or, you know, whatever the niche is, right? We could go download videos on cars or, you know, sports, whatever it is. So let's say success, we'd look for like watch videos and type watch in the search bar, and then we'd sort it for videos. And you could download the horizontal ones knowing that it's gonna reformat it and create a AI. Or what you could do is you could just filter it for just the vertical videos to make it a lot easier. So again, another perfect example of a niche would be like fitness or weightlifting or something like that you could search that into the actual search bar here. So depending on the actual clip that we plan on making, right? If this is a success video, we'd wanna go after like pictures of successful people, watches, cars, private jets, whatever the case is, mansions, nice houses, right? So this guy kind of looks a little successful. He's got a watch on, we download that video. And this is completely free to use. Pexels, Pixabay, Storyblox is a subscription. There's a bunch of them out there. You can Google them. It's not hard to find royalty-free videos like this. Or again, you could create them with AI with something like Pixiverse or something along those lines. So let's just look down here. Guy looks like he's working. We could search something a little bit more specific like suit or successful or Rolex. Look at the videos. So this guy kind of looks a little successful. Download that one. This guy's got like the whiskey and the lighter here. That's not a bad one. And you'll get a lot better at finding these and picking out clips. And one of the coolest parts about this is once you download a bunch of them within a niche, you can recategorize them all and kind of label them so that you don't have to do this every single video. The very first video and realistically the very first five to 10 videos are going to be the slowest for you because you need to find the actual, you know, royalty free videos for this. But as you go, you're going to build up a library of these type of content. And assuming that you stay in the same niche, which you should, you won't have to do this once you get to a certain point in videos, because you're just going to have all that B-roll automatically stored in a folder, which you can then just upload and make videos very, very quickly like that. Right? So keep that in mind. It's a little slower in the beginning. It's totally understandable and totally expected. So let's search like yacht. There we go. That's not a bad one right there. That's a picture though. Let's go after videos. It's not horrible. Not great, but not horrible. These people are on a yacht cheersing. That's a good one. This guy's on his yacht. Let's search mansion or successful. And I'm doing this very quickly. You'd obviously sort through them and kind of find out what looks really good. And you might want to take like 15, 20 minutes in the beginning to just find a bunch of clips within your niche. And then again, like I said, you won't have to do it again in the future. Let's go successful this guys kind of like an entrepreneur you might fit the mold like that would be even be a good idea like stocks stuff like that we could say entrepreneur there's a lot of different things that we could search up here depending on your niche and you could find a ton of them this is just one example this is just pexels well you'd want to do this a lot more right but i don't want to waste your time i kind of want to show you the entire process so now that we have a bunch of clips within the same niche essentially what we want to do then is we want to go to creatify ai and you can try this completely free in the description if you want it's the first link in the description and i believe that there's a coupon code to save you money that i set up with the 
company. But if not, again, you could just try completely free. And then from the homepage, what you want to do when you sign up is you want to go to URL to video ad, right? And so you'll see that you can post a link in here. What I was talking about before with the TikTok shop and TikTok affiliate videos, or you can just upload manually. So in this case, with the creator rewards program approach, you want to upload manually. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what you put in here. You're going to want to put your script in, but it doesn't really matter. It's just going to basically give you like the track so that you can create the clips on that length, right? So we can just kind of put anything in here. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put an old script in there from the past, just to kind of literally it does not matter what you put in here because you're gonna overlay your own voiceover after this. Not that you've done, but from a popular speech or a popular person that's gonna be recognizable, that's gonna get a lot of views. And then we're just gonna overlay new B-roll using this and using the videos that we just downloaded, clipped really fast with transitions, all within Creatify AI, right? So name this whatever, it doesn't really matter. Again, then go into edit here and upload your video videos that you just downloaded. And there we go. So obviously you want to pick out the specific ones that you downloaded, but you can see just how fast I downloaded a bunch right there. So I grabbed nine of those random files that kind of fit the build that I was looking for, kind of like entrepreneurship or like successful people walking or showcasing that they have success on some level. It kind of fits the motivational niche that we're going to create with this specific video here. So we're going to give this about two to three minutes to upload these files, and then we're going to come back and I'll show you the next step. All right, there we go. So now they're uploaded. So now we're going to click next. And now we just want to set up and format the actual video that we're going to be creating, right? So the format, as I'll show you here in a second, with a nine by 16 aspect ratio, the video length is going to depend on the length of your actual, you know, voiceover that you're going to put in. I always say for this specifically, always go 60 seconds or minimum 30 seconds. So that you have enough B-roll to actually put over top of the voiceover, right? Because most popular voiceovers that you're going to download that people are going to obviously recognize or going to have a lot of brand authority or get a lot of views that do well are going to be a little bit on the longer side, at least longer than 15 seconds. So I would go 30 seconds at least or preferably 60 seconds. Okay, so let's go 60 seconds here and then we'll click next. And again, the script really doesn't matter here. So we're just going to pick one because it, all we're really concerned with here is the B-roll of the actual videos that we're going to create with Creatify. We're going to overlay a popular voiceover after this on our own. The benefit of this software essentially is just as you can see, like when you're scrolling TikTok and a lot of the popular videos that are creator rewards program videos are kind of like jumbled meshes of similar types of B-roll with a popular voiceover over top. But the issue with that is you would have to spend the time and brain power to do it yourself to put it into an editing software like Premiere Pro or Final Cut or whatever, and then make those little edits yourself and constantly take little pieces of those videos and then input them in those specific segments, which would take a little bit longer than you want to for these videos. And while Creatify AI will take you know, a few minutes to do this, it doesn't take any brain power on your part because it's going to do all the clipping of those specific videos for you automatically and then let you drag the little sliders and drop video parts in there very, very easily. It simplifies the entire process, especially if you don't have any editing experience, right? So now we're going to move on to the editor here on the right, and you'll see that it's going to give us access to all the clips and bit different segments of those videos that we actually just uploaded. So the first thing that we want to do here is we're going to hide the avatar because we don't need an avatar talking on our video that is you know specifically for selling products we're also going to hide the music we don't want any music because we don't want to run into any potential issues of getting a copyright or getting our video you know taken down so that it can't be monetized on TikTok. so don't add music if you want to add music add music in the app when you're uploading the video we don't need the voiceover again we're going to add that at the end we don't need the captions we're going to add that at the end so all we're really worried about here is the assets as you can see and see how it kind of took different segments in these two asset windows sometimes there's there's only one line of assets, but sometimes there's two and they jumble it up like this. It took like three second segments of these different assets and then kind of, or it looks like five seconds roughly, and then took little pieces of those actual videos and then cut those little pieces of those videos in different segments that we can then use. It looks like that very first one that we dropped in was the picture that we downloaded by accident. So we're going to change that. And the way that you can change it is see this little segment that it obviously added here. It's like a five second segment of any video, just like a clip. Again, automatically randomly generated just for us in this software. We can extend this if we want to make it longer. We can shorten it if we want to drag it that way. We can also move clips if we want them, you know, and just kind of make them reorganized if we don't like the setup of them. But so I'm going to drag this all the way back out and we're just going to change it. And the easiest way that you do that is come up to assets here and you can scroll through all the assets that you have. And then you can just pick one of the other clips that you actually had. So we, if we wanted to add this one in there, we could just drag that one in, drop it over there until it's blue. And 
and there you go. So now let's see what it looks like. Again, this is just the B-roll. It is a little slow here. I usually like my clips to be like every three to four seconds, like max. So I'm gonna shorten these and we're gonna add a, another one, maybe two more. The beginning of your video should be the fastest, especially because on TikTok, the attention span of everybody is super short. So let's see what it kind of looks like now with the faster clips going here. Much better. Shorten it up a little bit more. There we go. And if you wanted to add more assets within here, like let's say you wanted to, you know, come up with something else or add another asset to your video, you just click the plus right here and you could add them in from right there. All right, so that's about 30 seconds of B-roll right there. So now we're gonna render it and export it and I'll take you to the next step here in a second once we download it. All right, it's done. So now we're gonna download it and we're gonna take it into Premiere Pro or you could use Canva or Final Cut or Shotcut is a perfect example of a free software that you can use to add voiceovers you could also just literally take this into TikTok as well and add the voiceover there but since I have a Premiere Pro I'm just going to show you here on the computer while we're doing the tutorial the easiest way probably would just be to take it into TikTok and add the voiceover that you downloaded within the TikTok editor that's completely free and super easy to use so we're going to add our b-roll here and we already downloaded a voiceover that's just kind of a motivational voiceover from Alex Hormozzi that tells you basically you have to do a lot of work and do so much work that failure would be unreasonable it's one of my favorite ones. So I'll show you kind of what that looks like here before we export it. You must pick a goal and do so much work that it would be unreasonable for you not to succeed. That if you were to look back, having done an amount of work that it would be virtually impossible for you to fail, that you said, I did that. And I can promise you that if you do that level of work, that volume of activity over an extended period of time, without thinking you're smarter than you are, you will probably get there in half the time. But you have to start that first hour and not wait a decade to get there. So that's the length of the actual clip right there. It's only about 25 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this clip up so that transitions happen a lot faster. So we'll see it's too much. Let's try like 135. There we go. Perfect. And so now we're going to export this out of Premiere Pro. Again, if you don't have it, it's totally fine. Just take it into the TikTok editor or use Shotcut by going to shotcut.org, downloading that. It's completely free to use. So we're going to name this test video one because we're not actually going to upload this. I just want to show you an example of this. And so now this is going to export relatively fast. And now if you want to take it a step further and increase audience retention a little bit more, I'd recommend taking this into a captioning software. Again, you can do this completely free in the TikTok editor if you want to as well. I like to add, you know, special looking ones that kind of look a little bit better. My favorite software for this is called Simplified AI. I use it every single day in my own business for my personal brand, for my TikTok shop and TikTok affiliate videos, and also for my creator rewards program. So I'm going to show you how to use it here in a second. It's very easy. If you want to try Simplified AI, again, you could do so completely free to test it out in the description below. So once you sign up for Simplified AI, you want to go to the AI video and then generate with AI. Really easy. Then go to add subtitles, then go to AI subtitles. So you could realistically add any of these captions depending on what you liked. And again, there's a million different options here with different colors that would increase audience retention again, because not only are you hearing the voiceover, seeing the B-roll flashing with fast transitions like we just created with Creative AI, but also on top of that, you're seeing the words being said in the voiceover on the screen for you in real time. So without the captions, here's what the actual video looks like. It took us very quickly to do this with Creative AI. All right, so the last time I did this and I posted a TikTok video that I made in my YouTube video to show you guys, my YouTube video got copyright struck and taken down. So I will not be doing that this time. I'm gonna do what I did on the last video. I will put that video that I, if for reference, if you need to see it, in the first comment, and I will pin that comment. It will just be a drive file link. You can watch the video there. That way I don't get in trouble. I don't get another copyright strike on YouTube and you can still check the video out, all right? So if you wanna check that out, first pin comment. Hope it helps. Once you download a bunch of B-roll, it will go a lot faster because you won't have to do that step again. You should download, you know, popular voiceovers in bulk, in my opinion, and then batch produce them. You'll be able to pump a lot more videos out very quickly for your page that's monetized. And the coolest part about this is it doesn't take any brain power or much effort on your part at all. The AI software does pretty much all the heavy lifting for you. And then if you upload, I would say consistently with this, you don't need every video to go viral. It only takes one or two realistically to push your page to the next level. So that pretty much every upload going forward is kind of hitting that threshold and every video is then monetized and some go viral, which eventually make you good money. So Creatify AI, again, linked for free in the description below. Same thing with Simplified AI if you want to try either one of those. But as always, guys, this is just what works for me. So I really hope it helps.